Hello, this is Multilingo K Dog signing in. I decided to do a part two cemeteries and, and graveyards are outdated and it's a waste of money. Part two. Uh, that I'm t going to talk about catacombs. The catacombs. It is a total waste of money and space. I'm going to do it uh, different. This time I'm going to show you a bunch of catacombs while speaking. You know what else is waste of money? Again, the catacombs, like I said, take the famous Paris catacomb, for example, they just had an Olympic two months ago as I'm filming, two months ago as I am filming, 300 with 300 kilometers tunnels, that's covered the whole uh, city of Paris, I don't know how they built the subways, the metro around it, I bet it's haunted. The First cemetery was established in Paris, just the outskirts of the city during Roman times. Yes, France, Paris was part of Roman. The first cemetery was established uh, somewhere in the first century AD in the Roman times. Paris main cemetery called Les Innocents Cemetery was established in 12th century AD to 12th century AD in the 1100s back in the medieval times and it's expanded throughout medieval times and early modern era up until the 1770s because with the health major health problems uh, smelling of the dead bodies uh, tied to the city cemetery led to a transfer of remaining dead skeletons, especially a bunch of non-famous people, uh, the bottom 99.99% to the underground site. The, the famous one, uh, the well-known figure stays on the top, is shown. It's more like underground cemeteries, series of underground cemeteries. It started to take, the mining started to take place in 1774, last up to 1810. The first evacuation were made from 1785 to 1787 and concerned the largest cemetery in Paris. It, which is known as the Saint Innocent Cemetery, the, uh, where the less innocent cemetery were. The catacombs are completed in 1810s. And yes, it does attract the tourists. Even the catacomb attract the tourists. There's a, 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 a what the underground cemetery uh, we may know of uh, being buried underground, remain hidden. Uh, from the uh, tourists because most of the air is remain unaccessible. Yes, it is a tourist site, but it's still a waste of money, waste of uh, space. This catacomb is covering the whole city of Paris, or at least the whole city. Uh, I bet that the underground is haunted. A lot of catacombs still remain, uh, catacombs still remain unexplored. There's a good uh, reason. Uh, other areas are forbidden access, so to prevent people from getting lost in exploring the catacombs, I bet that uh, the regular peoples in the uh, inaccessible underground remain forgotten, very inaccessible. The famous, I bet that the famous one uh, usually being so displayed to the uh, to well to the tourist. Paris w was the top lot. FYI, Paris was the top largest city in the Middle Ages. It's uh, in the two hundred thousands as in the fourteen hundreds. Paris catacomb is not the only catacomb that exists. There are sixty catacombs in Rome. A total 170 kilometers long. Only five out of 60 of them open to the public. The one that, the skeleton that is open to the public are the famous ones. Uh, it tells you that, uh, once you pass away, no, people don't remember you unless if you're really famous. Uh, all good. Talk about that in a, a minute. Odessa, Ukraine also had 
the largest catacomb in the world. Odessa, Ukraine is the largest one in the world, I mean. With 2,500 kilometers long, I bet that the deer that display in public are famous and high status. Proper shown in public as tourist attraction. Uh, yes, it is creepy to uh, go inside, but you only see the uh, the high, well known high status skeleton. There are 26 existing catacombs. As we know today, I bet that there are more catacombs somewhere that is not listed, uh, that is not shown. Uh, somewhere that is possibly still under construction due to overpopulation equals more death. There's always, uh, there are already catacombs, I mean, in the US. Uh, I bet that there's going to be in one in Canada as population increases. Mm. So, how does this do with anti natalism? Uh, does the result as of overpopulation? Uh, yes, it, it, it can be a, to, a, a tourist site, but at the same time, uh, a lot of them are not uh, designed for tourists. A lot of them are uh, not as accessible, and that's what I mean. That's why there's more cemetery in the world. There will be more of them with continuing overpopulation too. Yes. And people are wasting money on tri on cemetery, traditional casket, uh, coffins. That is like a, uh, that over $30,000 in Canadian. Uh, they didn't uh, sp spend uh, money uh, 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 and they will be forgotten. Uh, because there will be most uh, more of the continual overpopulation if it is joined uh, continued trend of overpopulation this join a uh, habitat cutting uh, to expand the cemeteries they got to destroy the habitats cutting down more trees like expanding the highway cutting down more trees building highways until we ran out of room for other important shit built, like building more, uh, build, uh, in buildings, building another shit. Build, uh, uh, when ran out of room, it needs to build more catacombs underground. It's just all status symbol that will eventually won't remember, but will be forgotten within two generations for the non-famous one, uh, the famous one are just a tiny minority to com compare. Uh, if you look at Wikipedia, uh, the uh, the famous people are <laughs> the rate of famous is you is a uh, eight out of a hundred thousand is approximately point you 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 eight percent of the world population. Point you you eight percent at my best estimate will be listed as on Wikipedia, will be showed up on Wikipedia as famous person. That's what I mean. Uh, unless you're famous, you will be remembered for, uh, unless you're a famous figure, uh, that's whatever evil so-called good figures, uh, like uh, Michael Jackson, the bad, bad, like Michael Jackson, Kanye West, Will, uh, made, Kobe Bryant uh, would be uh, maybe remembered longer, but as generations go by, they be for forgotten. Uh, unless uh, somebody, someone find them uh, on in internet. Uh, once in gen, otherwise in general. Once you're dead, you're gone. People won't remember you. Once you're dead, you'll be buried. Deep last bottom of the bottom, uh, nobody will recognize you, especially in the catacomb. It's just all meaningless and it's will, it will remain inaccessible. Uh, the famous one usually be remembered long longer. Genghis Khan will be remembered l longer. Uh, I'm top, uh, um, but uh, this case I'm referring to the non-famous one, the, the the big big majority.
the regular people I'm referring to, um, unless some someone somehow find us on the us anti natalists on the internet, every second people will upload shit online, and it's a matter of taking a long time to f find us with many p billions of people upload themselves online. Uh, people don't care anyway. Uh, you, uh, this we are still not going to be famous. You're still not going to be famous by uploading yourself on online. Uh, you'll be buried deep, uh, lost bottom, and be forgotten. I'm talking about the regular people, the non-famous ones. Okay, this is science. If there's more catacombs built more worldwide, it's a waste of land. What if the land will collapse and erode it? If the land collapse, I can imagine uh, p people fall into f the skeleton. If there is earthquake, the land will collapse, the catacomb will collapse, all the remains might be exposed. And I can imagine that if you go visit the catacomb, visit uh, the grave of the loved one, and uh, in the uh, underground catacomb to honor them. Uh, if the land collapse, the land will collapse on you. Uh, it will collapse on you. It, it, could you imagine that with too many catacombs, the wildlife's going to go uh, collapse too if it crosses the wildlife. And this also creates slavery because it's, uh, I, I can imagine that the, let's take example of Paris, France, build, mining, building catacombs. They probably get paid low wages. The working condition, the, it was not as good as today. I bet that some, a lot of people get hurt, uh, building the catacomb to work like slave to blow up underground to expand the size of catacomb to fit more people and if the undergrounds ran out of room uh, that, uh, I can imagine that they have to throw the dead bodies in the inner core la lava it's because NPCs natalists continue to have children to contribute over population uh, how much was it can get uh, until they throw throw the bury in the inner core lava on Earth. Workers going to uh, get killed, agonizing death there. I don't see how human don't see overpopulation is a problem. Uh, I don't know how can they not see it's a problem. All they care about is continued bloodline legacy, losing child as descent and exploitation by making their own children taking care of them, getting baby bonus. Uh, when it comes to consequences of overpopulation, they just cool uh, with it. They don't see the problem with it and and uh, uh, and the oxytocin love all of, all of it is a drug and this drugs that numbs you in con conclusion with overpopulation natalists contributing to overpopulation uh, if there'll be more and more land wasted human will commit more habitat destruction to build more cemeteries expand sanitary leading to building of more catacombs when the disaster strikes the catacomb with too many catacombs it's going to collapse to the underground the city's town's going to uh, collapse the underground and I'm just speaking facts and experience. I know there's people me, there is not an opinion, it's a fact. And speaking of experience, call me crazy, call me a hole, I don't give a flying fuck. And what I think the alternative to a cheaper way, a cheaper and space saving way instead of traditional casket coffin burial to make it more environmentally friendly, uh, opt for cremation, resumation, the water cremation. Or, I know it's the third choice, is I know it sounds sketchy, but to leave the dead bodies in the wildlife, let it rot, let the scavenger eat you, let the maggots, uh, 
feed you, you're, you're gone, you're dead anyway, you, you're no longer sentient, no longer, you feel nothing after you're dead. Okay, that's it for this video, I'm signing out.